Super Bowl Sunday is one of the largest money-making days for bars and restaurants. Food and drink specials are draw cards for those taking in the NFL championship with friends. That is in non-pandemic years. It'd be like a normal day, I think, with people just watching the game. This Sunday, no big celebration, no contests. He's not even ordering extra food and beverages. It's a lesson learned after what was the last big night for restaurant owners. The New Year's we prepared, bought a lot of food, and then all of a sudden we got closed down. And if you can't move that stuff, then you have to throw it out. Happy New Year. On December 30th, Dr. Bonnie Henry ordered bars and restaurants to stop serving booze at 8 p.m. New Year's Eve. It meant wasted food and smaller profits, but there may have been other impacts. What happened was our 8 p.m. seatings in restaurants and pubs canceled their reservations. People literally called up and said, ah, forget it, I'm going to have a party at home instead. The next BC COVID briefing is Friday, making industry professionals wonder if new restrictions might be on the table. If you want us to not host Super Bowl gatherings at all, right, and don't even want us to show it on the television, you need to tell us that right now because people are booking pay-per-view and spending money on it. People are ordering in extra chicken wings and nachos, right? Uh, let us know so we can ha have your back on that. Today, though, Premier John Horgan suggesting the pandemic playbook might not be changing for restaurant owners. It could be the same protocols they're now used to. You don't need to wait till uh, Friday to know that on Sunday you should not be, uh, the hospitality sector should not be welcoming uh, large numbers of people into a crowded space. Something the main restaurant and bar is planning on. They're just hoping there's no surprise moves before game day. Megan Batchelor, CBC News, Vancouver.